At the beginning of March, Golden Paints released a new line of matte acrylic paints called So Flat. When they became available, I ordered some of the paints to test out and review for all of you. Golden claims these paints dry to a matte finish, are more opaque, and that they are self-leveling. I ordered the pop and zing sets, plus a few extra colors I thought I might want. I also ordered a pad of watercolor paper because I'm going to be making some test swatches. By the way, I've added chapters to this video. So feel free to jump ahead if you like. To begin with, I'm going to be unboxing the Zing set with you. Inside, there is a chart that shows all the colors available in the range. This paint comes in 40 colors, I believe. As you can see, there are six colors in the Zing set. Naphthal Pink, Bismuth Vanadate Yellow, Cobalt Teal, Yellow Green, Red Violet, and Cadmium Orange. These paints do need to be stirred prior to use in order to achieve uniform results, so bear that in mind. My first impression is the color. The colors are really vibrant, really pigmented. In terms of color, I'm really impressed. This zing set is really beautiful. The paints are much more fluid than I expected, so the consistency is very different from what I'm used to working with. In terms of opacity, you can see that they are very opaque. Even with just one coat, the coverage is excellent. Here, I'm just selecting the three primaries in this set. After that, I paint a wheel using all six of the colors in the set. You can see now that these paints are dry and that they are really very matte. There is no shine whatsoever. Just for contrast, here is a painting of mine painted with regular acrylics. And this is not varnished. As you can see, it is quite glossy and reflective and the brush strokes have more texture and body than the so flat. Next up is the pop set. The pop set comes in six colors. Titanium white, naphthol red, this is the one that leaked, but I think it will be okay. Next is Cadmium Primrose. And this set does come with black. Apparently I can't read because I mistakenly bought another black, which 
is fine. I don't have black in my regular acrylic set, and now I have lots, so I won't be needing to mix it anymore. Next is ultramarine blue and permanent green. I also bought some extra colors that I thought I might want to use. Again, I'm making swatches and getting to know the paint. So far these paints are performing exactly like Golden says they do. Even the colors that are traditionally quite transparent like green come out very flat and opaque after just one coat. Now that I've painted some swatches and gotten a feel for the paint, I'm ready to paint an actual painting with these. We've had some really beautiful weather here and it's basically spring. So I'm headed outside to collect some inspiration. The first painting I'm going to try is of some flowers I collected. Right off the bat, you can maybe see I'm struggling a bit more than usual. I'm definitely not used to working with fluid paints. I always work with heavy body acrylics, and before that I was an oil painter. So these paints feel very strange to me, and I have a hard time getting into them to begin with. One thing I didn't anticipate was how much these paints spread and flatten out on my palette. I use a flat glass palette, and since these paints are designed to be self-leveling, they immediately began to spread out and flatten on my palette. The problem with that, of course, is that when paint spreads out across a larger surface area, more of the paint is in contact with open air, and the paint will dry much quicker than if it's in a neat little pile. So I felt like I was really fighting the clock, and I got really frustrated. The end result isn't awful, but it's not really what I was hoping for. Since this is a review and I want to be as fair as possible, I decided to keep trying. The unfortunate thing about art is that it is heavily linked to your mood and your state of mind. I have good days and I have days where no matter what I do, it never turns out. So I decided to give it another go.
The second painting I did of the Vinca turned out okay, so I decided to make a third painting of some snapdragons I grew a few years back. By the end of the third painting, I felt like I finally had a better understanding of the paints. So I decided to make one last painting, which would be the fourth painting. This is a painting I did last year, and you may recognize this as my channel profile picture. I've never painted this on camera, and I decided to recreate that painting with the sew flat paint. I thought it would be a helpful exercise for comparison purposes. Immediately, I felt so much better because I finally understood the paints, and of course, since I've already painted this, it was a subject that I was very familiar with. The painting ended up going really quickly. The original painting took me about four hours or so, if I recall correctly. The so flat painting I finished in 45 minutes. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and I was a bit more impulsive this time around. Also, you should keep in mind that I painted this in a quarter of the time it took me to paint the original. So it's not going to be as perfect and detailed. Because this paint is so opaque, I got full coverage in fewer layers, which helped me finish more quickly. So that aspect was nice. So now that I've had a chance to work with them, what is my opinion of so flat? My conclusion is that these are very nice paints. They are dead matte, so if that is what you are looking for, you will love these. If you want to take photos of your art for reproduction, you won't have unwanted glare to contend with, which is really great. Or if you film, like I do, you won't experience that atrocious glare like this. Because the paints are so opaque, you can't really build translucent glazes or layers with these paints alone, but I think these paints especially would be great for underpainting and blocking in, and anywhere you want bold passages of flat color or a more graphic style. I don't think these paints will replace my heavy body acrylics, and those will always be my very first choice but I do think these will be a nice complement to my regular acrylics. And Golden says these paints are fully compatible with all the paints and mediums in their product range, meaning you can mix and match them to your heart's content. So they are definitely open for creative exploration. Although obviously mixing a matte paint with a glossy paint or medium will alter the sheen. One concern I have is that the paints only come in jars, for the obvious reason that they need to be stirred prior to use, and a tube doesn't allow that. I dislike the hassle of stirring the paint, which is a minor annoyance, I know. I also suspect that these will dry out faster than paint stored in a tube, which has always been my experience with paint in jars. So that is something to consider. As for the issue of the paints flattening out on my palette, I think this could be solved by using a different style of palette. I think a palette like this, with wells in it, should solve the problem. Overall, I'm really impressed with the pigment load. The colors are really, really beautiful, especially the Zing set. The paints dry to a matte, velvety finish. The coverage is opaque and even in only one coat. 
The brush strokes virtually disappear with minimal effort. So if these are qualities you are looking for in a paint, you will probably love So Flat. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If so, please press the like button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.